It's been one week since a large water main break that impacted much of Springfield and the surrounding areas. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri joining us live in Springfield after she checked in with the Department of Public Works to see how the repairs have been going over the past week. Reagan. Yeah, Chris, as of right now, the water main is still off. However, earlier today, the city had hydrants like the one behind me running to keep the system flushed out and make sure the water stays safe to drink. Now, earlier, I talked to DPW Director Chris Signoli, who tells me it will take a while to complete these repairs. We're dealing with over 1500 feet of massive stream damage and this is you know this isn't you know a little uh, erosion here this is massive stream damage director of the springfield department of public works chris signoli speaking with western mass news one week after an enormous water main break took the city by storm we lost uh, about a 200 foot long culvert um, in the stream bed itself as well as a number of pipes that come into that stream um, due to the massive volume of water that went through there. After evaluating the situation, Signoli tells us the significant storm event we saw last Tuesday, along with the significant amount of rainfall we saw over the summer, is to blame for the break. But Tuesday's rain was the final straw, pelting down over four inches in just two hours. When you go out there and you look at it as sand, that there is just so much water in the soil these days that over time it just starts to erode away. It starts to liquefy the sand. Right now, the DPW is mostly focused on cleanup. And as they clear out some of the fallen trees and vegetation, the crews are able to get a better sense of the damage. Signoli says the cost of repairs will be in the millions, and he expects it to take up to two months before they can replace the water main. It's a stream that's surrounded by the Springfield Plaza, by residential developments where Big Y is, the housing authority, so everything drains in that from different directions. So we have to make sure that those are stable, then we can start building up. And they still have a long way to go before they can stabilize the area. The uh, stream channel is very deep. It's about 20 feet or so deep. Uh, due to the volume of water, it just ate back the slope. So now you're dealing with something that's 60 feet wide. It's all sand out there. So that stuff's washing away like crazy. Now, Signoli tells me due to all the rain we've seen in the last few months, the DPW has had to work on several smaller breaks around the city. However, none of them have been quite as significant as the one we saw last week. Reporting live in Springfield, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News.